I'm going to show you how to deeply connect with your spirit guides right now. If you want to communicate clearly with your spirit guides, but you're always in your head, confused whether you're making it up or if it's them, this is what you can do to fix all that. First thing you have to understand is that the reason that you're in your head is because you're overthinking. And there's only three reasons why you would be overthinking. Number one, it's a trauma response. You constantly had to scan your environment to make sure that it was safe from threats. You had to make sense of your surroundings no matter what was going on. The second reason is because you grew up heavily conditioned from some sort of organized religion. And in all religions, they attempt to make sense of some very senseless things. Like the reason for violence, premature death, or what happens when we die. You know, sometimes there is a higher spiritual reason for some of those things, but there's also a certain sloppiness to the universe. Not everything is divine or has purpose, but as human beings we want it to and the third reason you're overthinking is because you're an analytical person which there's absolutely nothing wrong with that it's actually a superpower and this is how you can use it to your advantage you know whenever you try to communicate with your spirit guides and you notice you're in your head and you're questioning this you're wondering about this is this really real is this really happening and you're just judging and analyzing every bit of information that comes through the best way to stop that is by consciously saying I'm in my head and then stepping back and talking to your brain. Literally tell your brain, look, I know you wanna analyze, but wait until the experience is over. As soon as I'm done with this experience, I will let you pick apart everything. And I'll even help you by super fixating on it all. Now when we do this, it allows us to have the experience, have the connection, have the conversation with our spirit guides without being interrupted by our analytical mind. And when the experience is over, your analytical mind can pick everything apart. And what this does is allow you to bring a super awareness to how you're actually communicating. Just found a blue jay feather. Many people overthink for one or a combination of any of these reasons. Which one is it for you?